Hey there, guys. Um, I'm Jack Barnwell. I'm at my design desk down here at my office in home office here in Naples, Florida, and it's uh, February, early February. We have a really, really cool video for you guys in store today. Um, I'm going to show you through a little bit of how I work in my design world um, and how I go through the process of creating and producing a design. And this is a real small little design, a small uh, project that we're actually going to dive into tomorrow morning. So the whole video here, we're gonna, I'm going to show you through this a little bit this evening. Then we're going to catch some sleep and in the morning we're going to wake up and we're going to go there. We're going to meet up with the crew, the landscape contractor, a good buddy of mine and an awesome team. And we're going to blitz and dive into the complete demolition and replanting of this whole entire landscape and get the whole thing done, hopefully, most likely, in one day. Really, before we even dive into the screens and what I have going on here and everything, my design process always starts with you know an initial phone call, initial meetings and everything with the client. And that initial meeting is really, really important like that to establish trust and um, just get to know them so that when I do dive into the design, I have a feeling of you know who it's for and uh, and there's, there's real purpose in the design. So and at that initial meeting too, I asked her if she had a site plan um, and she did. So one of the first things that I get um, is this site plan here. And it shows the house on the lot. Uh, there's a screened in pool. And most importantly though, it gives me some great, great measurements. You know, there's tons of elevation, a little bit of elevation, tremendous amount of information on there that I can pull off of um, trace and everything like that and then convert it and bring it into this file. And for this particular one I used Dynascape. Um, it's a CAD program that allows me to do this two-dimensional design. There's the pool back there and I took a lot of that information from that initial site plan. But most importantly I could really start playing around with some of these shapes start throwing some plants and different you know themes and ideas into here and these different colors that I use don't represent colors of plants or anything like that um, but they're different color codes and things that I use for different size plants and different layers so this light blue is a taller uh, you know mid canopy small tree called a jatropha tree so I've got this nice big curving, you know, very large front bed there, some hedges running up the side. It's not a very big lot. It's very small and we don't have a ton of room to work with. But so once I get the drawing done in this format, which is essentially black and white, these colors and stuff on here don't come across when I print this at all. Um, I can put the spec list and the plant list and all kinds of information and things like that right on the drawing. But once I transfer it from this two-dimensional CAD um, program over here to color, um, but what's most fun about these design projects is when you get it to this point and the client you know, totally falls in love with the concept, I take this out to the, the job site, of course, walk the client through it, talk them through the themes and everything and where things are gonna go and what I'm thinking, as soon as they green light it and they love it, I send this to the contractor. And now tomorrow morning to be able to take this idea from paper, put it into the ground, make it happen. Um, the client is gonna be there tomorrow and she's gonna see this whole complete transformation take place. It's gonna be a really, really big day, um, but it's gonna be exciting. So we're gonna do all the demolition and complete overhaul of this whole landscape and everything in one day. All right, good morning, everybody. We are uh, coffeeed up in the truck, ready to roll. The uh, landscape contractor that we're gonna be using for this project 
Um, the owner's name is Robert Soto. He's a good buddy of mine. Uh, he's my age, and he um, started a, you know a small company and built it up into. He's got probably 50 or 60 guys on staff, and they do a lot of commercial maintenance, a lot of large-scale um, landscape property maintenance, um, and to do these small, fun, little, uh, creative projects uh, is a lot of fun for him and for his crew. So we we kind of have a blast doing these, and I keep uh, one of his crews, one of his installation crews, busy all the time, especially when I'm around. I have a lot of these projects like this that um, kind of just keep lining up. This is cool that we're uh, you know able to film today and show you guys through a project like this where I've done um, you know design, implementation, execution, make it all happen. All right, so here we are on site. Um, this is like I said earlier, kind of a typical new subdivision in. Uh, just outside of Naples and uh, all brand new homes and a lot of the landscapes were you know put in and installed by the builder this one included and there's not a lot of um, not a lot of creativity and interest and definitely not a lot of healthy uh, plant you know living going on here so uh, there's some things that are that are good that we're gonna that we're gonna keep like these little ilex. We're gonna dig this stuff up that is good that we can recycle and reuse and repurpose it into the design, which is great. Um, but there's a lot of it that's really just got to go. It's either the wrong plant, wrong choice for the location, um, or it's just really unhealthy and not happy. So a hundred percent of all of this. Uh, really around the whole entire house is getting dug out first thing this morning here as soon as the guys arrive and um, and then we'll be able to scrape all this old you know kind of junky construction soil out of here we'll dig it all down bring in a lot of new soil amend all these beds and things like that with some really healthy compost fertilizer um, and then bring in and all the plant material lay it all out all of that stuff is on the way right now um, we've got, uh, it sounds like all the soil, all the plant material, everything coming, a good crew of guys, seven, eight guys coming, um, you know, some equipment. We'll be able to uh, really, really rock and roll on this one. I'm pretty excited. So now that we've got all the plant material out that was uh, coming out, this phase of demolition is uh, scraping and getting rid of all of the old, uh, just really spent soil. That I wouldn't even call soil. It was like uh, just essentially construction debris, sandy mess. So we, you know, dug up and already found a lot of like scrap pieces of concrete and uh, you know garbage and roofing tiles and stuff from construction. So when they you know, did this initial installation, they really just threw a bunch of plants in and mulched over top of it and you know, on with the show. So we do unfortunately see this a lot down here and uh, fortunately you know, get the call from clients like this to come in, scrape it all out and do it right. So right now we're, we're digging them down a good six inches or so or even more in some spots to bring in new healthy beautiful living soil and then we'll you know lay out all the plants and plant into that once it's been tilled up and amended in it's going to be much nicer mix for these new plants so this truck and trailer uh, back here has 
some of the plant material on it. Uh, there's a lot more still coming in yet a little bit later this morning, uh, but I'm really, really impressed with the size and, and shape of some of this stuff. These cocoa plums are gonna form some nice hedges up the two sides of the house uh, to give some foundation planting there. Uh, they're huge and wild and crazy. Um, they've been in the nursery a long time, but they'll get installed and then trimmed back really tight and nice. They'll flush out with a lot of new growth and, uh, and look absolutely beautiful. Um, nice to see some big, healthy plant material like that. Uh, these Calusias, this is a really, really tough, 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 hardy, um, you know, evergreen shrub that we use down here for a lot of hedging. And um, real tough, tough plant, uh, kind of fun, soft, funny little leaf there. But uh, these guys are gonna be used for some hedges along the sides of the pool cage and the screen lanai back there. Some real nice dracaenas up there I see poking up. Some podocarpus, some little jatropha trees. These uh, Schefflera arbocola, really healthy, you know, big, full, nice sized plants that have been trimmed back and let to flush out several times so you get a really dense, nice, healthy plant going in. Uh, like I said, this particular client is gonna be thrilled with the size and vigor of the plant material that we're using on this job. She's gonna get an instant uh, landscape that's gonna look really, really impressive right off the bat. So it is now uh, 410 and uh, wrapping things up pretty swimmingly here. Uh, flowers are going in and mulch is going down. There's guys in the back working their way forward, cleaning, raking, mulching from the back all the way right out the front. We'll pull all the plywood up, clean, 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 clean the roadway all off. We've got so many trucks and rigs and everything here all the way up and down the street. So all this stuff has to get packed up, tightened up, cleaned up. But I bet you by about five o'clock, another 45, 50 minutes, we'll be uh, wrapped up, cleaned up, and it'll be just about beer 30 for this crew for sure. These guys were giving me a hard time because I showed back up in this fancier shirt, but I had to go to a meeting to sell another job to keep these guys going, you know? So I had to kind of clean up a little bit, but... Uh, Anyway, um, great crew, great guys. I'm super, super proud of uh, what we've accomplished here today. It's looking sweet. In another uh, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, we'll do another quick video tour around, maybe throw the drone up so you guys can see it. Uh, maybe even when the lights are on and stuff, we'll catch it at sunset tonight uh, to give you the full effect and full look at things um, for this job here. Turn her out, super sweet. Good morning. Uh, we are heading over to that job site in Greyhawk on the golf course there. We did in fact wrap it up all in one day. It was a big day, a lot of fun to have those, uh, you know, just the diversity for me to have a, a little project like that and, uh, you know, just kind of do those one day transformations like that. It's really, really cool. The client was absolutely thrilled blown away she said it's so much nicer than I you know could have ever thought or ever dreamed and uh, she was really really thrilled so that is the point really of doing all that and um, so I'm really really proud of Robert and his team those guys knocked it out of the park um, we're it's fairly close to where we are now so we're gonna head over there so you guys can see some final footage and stuff in this uh, early morning light and show that project as it's all wrapped up. We'll continue to kind of try and keep uh, video 
going as much as we possibly can to capture a bunch of stuff down here in Naples, Florida, some of our fun projects and stuff like that. But also as we transition north, we've got some really cool stuff on the docket this spring and summer up uh, in northern Michigan, Mackinac Island. We'll keep the, uh, the videos going and everything like that. Keep it coming your way. Stay tuned and uh, be sure to let us know in the comments what you love and what you want to see more of and things like that because it's a lot of fun for us to hear that feedback from you all. Have an awesome rest of your day or evening or whatever it may be and we'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.